man has been charged with the murder of a 19 year old woman. Police say she was stabbed to death outside of Bodega in Brooklyn when she refused to give him his number. Right, Fox 5's Linda Schmidt joins us live from Park Slope. And Linda, you're hearing the suspect actually turned himself in. Yeah, he absolutely did that today. He showed up here at the 7A precinct. He turned himself in and he had his lawyer with him at the time. Now, the 19 year old victim and her twin sister, they were together last Sunday. And that is when she was stabbed to death. And police say the reason he did it is because she rejected him. If you knew the twins for 19 years of their life, no one deserves to lose a child. She did not deserve that. <laughs> she did not deserve that. That mom will never be the same. After a chance encounter with 20-year-old Veo Kelly, her twin sister was slashed on her arm. Her dad, Stephen, is lost. Those are his twins. Those are his babies. The parents asking Yvette Ramos, a lifelong friend, to speak on their behalf. Police say Kelly, who had too much to drink, flew into a rage when Samaya would not give him her phone number. She and her sister did not know Kelly, had never seen him before. But to pacify him, she gave him her Instagram handle. Okay, she don't want to give you her number. She gave you her Instagram. That still don't give a reason to kill her. Delhi owner Mohammed Albahar watched the girls grow up. They and their family frequent his store. We feel really broken hearts, you know. Authorities say Kelly has at least one prior arrest for robbery. He turned himself in this morning at the 7 8 precinct. St. Patrick's Day marked the streets of New York on March 17, 2024, as it always does. People were out celebrating the Irish holiday, but on this day, 19-year-old Samaya Spain would have never imagined at 19, this would be the last day she would spend in New York City. A different kind of monster had a plan. He just didn't know it yet, and he had been unleashed on the streets of New York. Two young lives would collide, ending both on a cold March morning in Brooklyn on the corner of St. Mark's Place and 4th Avenue. Vio Kelly, a demon on a mission, was drinking late into the night, or at least that's his excuse now, for the horrendous act of violence he would unleash. Reports say he came out of a party hole down the street. He would see the 19-year-old girl, her twin sister, and a few others inside the Natural Plus Deli in the Park Slope neighborhood. Kicking gang like he thought a true player would do, his request for Samaya's number would be rejected, but he wasn't taking no for an answer. He pressed on and she gave in, giving Vio her Instagram tag, telling him to holler at her just to get away from him for the moment. But Vio wanted more and he had a history of attacking women. When he asked if she was going to follow him back on the gram, her response now became no. With his friends around, the rejection and embarrassment was too much to handle. Vio Kelly had a penchant for attacking women and tonight he would do the same. He had been arrested twice before, the most recent one occurring in July 2023, after he was allegedly accused of attacking his 18-year-old ex-girlfriend at the Pier 25 Marina in Lower Manhattan. The ex-girlfriend was playing Uno with her friend at the marina when she was abruptly pummeled by another woman that was with Vio Kelly, who kicked her to the ground. At that point, Vio Kelly took his ex's bag off her shoulder, emptied its contents, and threw her phone into the river before shocking her in the leg with a taser. Police would arrive throwing him in cuffs and taking him to the precinct. Vio was charged with second-degree attempted gang assault and second-degree robbery after being arrested, both serious felonies under New York law. But with New York State's bail reform, he was back on the street in no time. Judge John Zua Wang approved supervised release with electronic monitoring despite the prosecution's request for Kelly to be detained on $20,000 bond. The streets were calling him and nothing could hold him back, not even New York state laws. Before long, he would be taken into custody in September after attacking a different woman in Far Rockaway, but that case too would not hold him. He was back on the street this time to wreak havoc on a family that did not deserve it. Samaya's so twin sister, Sinea, would take her phone and say, why are you? Why are you talking to that boy? She said, I don't want to talk to that boy. So you ain't going to give me your number? No. Okay, you want some bullshit. The twin sisters would argue with Vio inside the deli as he got angrier. He threatened them both as he left the store. The owners of the deli would lock the door as Vio exited. Are you girls good? Yeah, we're good, they answered. The store clerk thinking the confrontation was over with his departure. Something is wrong with that boy. He in a hot rage. Vio would walk down the block only to return with a desire to wreak havoc over nothing. 
When he came back, he started banging and kicking on the glass door, trying to get back in. The clerk, afraid the predator outside would unlock the door, answered it with intentions of confronting the man in the rage, but things went bad quick. A fight ensued involving the man, his friend, and the sister's older brother. Swinging and punching was at full throttle as Veal was yelling, I'm going to stab y'all in the face. I'm telling everyone to get back, to back the fuck up. And he pushed little Samaya to the ground. She had already been stabbed. Fatally, her small body thumped to the ground as her twin sister went to her knees. She too had been stabbed, but not fatally, by the young New York City killer. I'm about to faint, she cried out to her sister. And there in the neighborhood deli she frequented as a little girl, Samaya would take her last breath. Then the air in New York City polluted with unnecessary violence on St. Patrick's Day. When cops arrived, they would find Samaya dead with a stab wound to her chest. Her twin sister, Sanea, stabbed in the arm. But no one knew who the killer was as of yet. The Brooklyn neighborhood was up in arms over the death and pressure was on the cops to get the killer off the street. Within five days, 20-year-old Vio Kelly would surrender to police Friday morning, a day after his attorney indicated to police the man planned, planned to end a nearly week-long manhunt. Friends and loved ones of Samaya, Spain, gathered outside the 78th precinct to catch a glimpse of Kelly. While the family was happy to see an arrest, a close family friend said it brings little peace to them. No sorry that he's going to say is going to help this family, said Yvette Ramos. You're never the same. She can't build her child back together. You can't take the ashes and build your child back together. You know what it is to wake up in the morning and not be able to call your daughter like you normally do? That is horrible. Samaya's elder relative, Denisha Goodson, was overheard uttering the words, the bastard that killed my sister, as detectives led him from the 78th precinct station house into an unmarked car that was waiting for them. Others in the crowd screamed at the alleged murderer, fuck you. A search warrant at Kelly's Hancock Street home yielded clothing believed to be worn during the attack, but the murder weapon has not been found. Police have recovered video surveillance from inside the bodega and have a physical encounter in front of it, but they do not have footage of the stabbing itself. But is V.O. Kelly's fate already sealed with his destination being the New York State Department of Corrections for 25 to life? You have got to be the dumbest. Probably going to end up with 25 years to life, right? Or, you know what, they might give you a cop out. New York State, you know, sometimes they let you cop out to 15 to life, usually for, you know, for a body, eight and a third to 25. But I don't know, maybe in this case, there ain't no cop out. I mean, this is, a, this is just outrageous violence, man, for no reason. 19-year-old girl, she's going to the store with her, with her brother and her sister, maybe a couple friends. Two in the morning, they're going to grab some snacks. They've been up playing games. Like, yo, we're going to walk down to the corner store. We should be good. St. Patrick's Day, right? It's the weekend. Everybody's chilling. And this cat approaches her. Like, yo, what's up? She's like, yo, I'm good. Nah, what's up? I'm, I'm saying I want your number. And, and she's like, look, I'm good. She's not feeling you. The chick's not feeling you, so... You start arguing with the chick, start arguing with her sister, start threatening them. You leave the store. It's over with, man. You left the store, man. You're, you're, out, you're out the way. So what? You got a little embarrassed. You got your feelings a little bit. You keep it moving. Instead, you come back to the bodega. You come back to the deli and you're like, yo, banging on the window. What was the store clerk thinking? You know, if, if you're out there living a law abiding life and all of that, it's two in the morning. Dude's over there banging on the window. After he left, they already started beefing. And you go and lock the door. You have got to be the dumbest too. You go and lock the door, let dude in. And now it's a total, just total chaos. Chaos where this 19-year-old girl loses her life. Absolutely shocking, right? Nobody expects that, right? Two o'clock in the morning, you're 19 years old. You're out there living your best life, enjoying life. It's the weekend. And this fool right here decides, you know what? I'm about to take your life as if he was God. I'm about to take your life. But in the meantime, while I'm taking your life, I'm about to take mine. Because now I'm about to be going to prison for pretty much forever. 25 to life. 20 years old, you might be thinking, yeah, but you know what? He'll see the parole board when he's 45. If he goes to trial and he blows, he gets 25 to life. Which in this case, they might not let this cat cop out. There might not be no cop out for this. Because this ain't just some, like, you know, hey, look, man, you know, dude robbed dude and he shot him and... You know, there's an argument of beef in the street between two dudes that are street dudes. Nah, this is a 19-year-old girl, man. You done took this girl's life. For what? What do you think he's doing right now? He's sitting on the island right now scratching his head. Somebody might have jumped on his ass already. Been like, yo, man, I don't like this dude, man. Yo, he might know a couple people from the neighborhood. There's somebody in Rikers Island that don't like him. There's someone in Rikers Island right now that 
seen that on the TV, and they're going to use that for an excuse today to, you know what? Man, you kill that 19-year-old girl, man, I'm about to, I'm about to do something to you today. Just because I'm angry at the world myself. I bet you someone got at this cat on Rikers. I, I believe that. You know, he might be ganged up. New York City, you already know what it is. He might be, I'm not going to say, but he, he might be ganged up. But I know one thing. They're about to load his ass up with some time. And I feel bad for this little girl, man. I feel bad for her family, the family, friends on there crying. You know, I got two little twins. Could you imagine what it was, what it's like for the twin sister? You know, Sinea, she gets stabbed in the arm. Her and her twin sister, their best friends, been best friends since the day they were born. And now she can't even talk to her sister. She can't see her sister. They're probably together every day. You know, they shared everything together. And now that, that girl don't have her sister no more. Man, she's got to be hard, bro. How do, how do you ever get better? How do you ever bounce back? Man, when you're in the street, man, you got to think. You got to use your head, man. Use your brain. You got a brain for a reason. You know, go out there and take a life, man. And you know what? It's going to cost you your own. This is just a story that bothered me, so I did a little clip on it. Blood on the Razor Wire TV until tomorrow. Man, we're out. Thank mm -hmm. you.